What happened when a teacher broke the rules? I was failing chemistry with a 32% average when my mom got diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer. Dad worked double shifts at the factory to pay for treatments, while I stayed home every day after school giving mom her medications, driving her to chemo appointments, cleaning the house because she was too weak from treatments. My grades tanked across the board, but chemistry was the worst. All those formulas and lab work I kept missing because mom would have panic attacks and need me home. Mr. Davidson, the chemistry teacher, called me to his desk after another failed test. Sarah, you've missed 12 labs this semester. I can't pass you without completing the required experiments. I explained about mom's cancer, about being her primary caregiver during the day. He shook his head. I'm sorry about your mother, but I can't bend the rules. You'll need to repeat chemistry next year, which meant not graduating with my class, not getting into nursing school like I'd planned. That afternoon, he found me crying in the hallway and sat down beside me. What if I told you there might be another way? He said quietly. The lab equipment stays here, but what if it didn't? He started staying after school every day, setting up mini labs and empty classrooms, teaching me one-on-one -on -one while janitors cleaned around us. We'd do titrations in the art room, gas law experiments in the library. He even brought portable Bunsen burners from his own garage. This went on for three weeks. I was finally understanding chemistry, actually enjoying it. Then Principal Martinez walked in during one of our sessions. What exactly is happening here? She demanded, seeing the unauthorized equipment. Mr. Davidson explained about my situation, about the makeup labs. She cut him off. This is a liability nightmare. Unsupervised lab work, unauthorized use of equipment. This stops immediately. That night, Mr. Davidson texted me, don't give up yet. Next day, he wasn't at school, but his wife dropped off a package at my house. Inside was a complete home chemistry set with a note. If the school won't let us use their lab, we'll make our own. He started coming to my house every evening after his wife finished her nursing shift, teaching me chemistry at our kitchen table. Mom would sit wrapped in blankets watching us work, sometimes helping with calculations when she felt strong enough. We did every single lab experiment the school required, just in our tiny kitchen, instead of the official lab room. This went on for six weeks. I thought we were being careful. Then someone saw Mr. Davidson's car in our driveway and reported it to the district. Next morning, he got called to an emergency meeting. When he came out, he looked devastated. They're investigating me for inappropriate contact with a student conducting unauthorized instruction at a private residence. I could lose my teaching license. My stomach dropped. This is all my fault. No, he said firmly. This is what teaching actually means. The investigation lasted two weeks, during which Mr. Davidson was suspended pending review. Other teachers whispered in hallways. Parents started asking questions. Then my mom did something I never expected. She called the local news station, told them about a teacher who risked his career to help a student whose mother was dying. The story aired on a Tuesday. By Wednesday, the school board was flooded with calls and emails. Thursday, the superintendent held a press conference. Teacher reinstated. Investigation dropped. District will create home instruction protocols for students with family medical emergencies. I passed chemistry with an 87% average. When they announced honor roll at graduation, Mr. Davidson stood up and cheered louder than anyone. After the ceremony, he handed me a small wrapped box. Inside was a tiny periodic table necklace with a note. Some elements are unstable on their own, but create something beautiful when they bond together. Some teachers really will break every rule for you, but only when they see you're already breaking yourself trying.